Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. HTML is the language used to create web pages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML documents written with this text or coding tell browsers how to interpret and display the data. HTML documents can be identified by the file extension .htm or .html. HTML standards are set and maintained by an international group of industry leaders, such as Microsoft and Apple, called the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C. The rules that govern how HTML is written are called syntax. As new web technologies emerge, HTML evolves through the W3C with newer versions, such as 5.0, that introduce new standards discussed in upcoming chapters. The markup language component of HTML refers to the insertion of instructions called tags. Tags tell the web browser how to interpret the data. Tags follow a standard format, with each tag beginning with a less than symbol immediately followed by the tag text, and ending in a greater than symbol. Spelling is critical as tags not recognized by a web browser are ignored. Tags in HTML can be written in either upper or lower case. However, it is considered generally good practice to type your tags in lower case. For example, the body tag. Most tags have a similar counterpart called an end tag which stop the effects of the tag. An end tag is identical to the start tag counterpart but also includes a forward slash immediately before the tag text. Some tags, like the image tag, do not have a closing counterpart. A closing tag must always include the forward slash. For example, the body end tag. Elements are simply the different components or pieces of your web page, like text or images. For example, the body start and end tags are tags that identify the body text on a web page. Once you have identified the element, you can then apply attributes, such as color and alignment, to the element. Many attributes require that you also set a value, such as a measurement or specification. For example, if you wanted to center a paragraph on your web page, the code would look like this. In this example, style is the attribute for the paragraph's text, and text-align colon center is the value. Values are always surrounded by quotation marks. You can apply multiple attributes, separating them with space in between. Entities are special characters you can add to a page, such as a copyright or trademark symbol. Entities begin with an ampersand and end with a semicolon. For example, the code to insert a registration mark is ampersand reg semicolon. As HTML became more prevalent and the need increased for additional structure for HTML documents, the W3C introduced XML, or Extensible Markup Language. A meta markup language used to create other languages and allowed developers to define their own tags. XML isn't quite as flexible as HTML, so the W3C rewrote HTML in XML, creating XHTML. With the advent of HTML5, the W3C recommends using HTML5, as its inclusion of the extensive use of cascading style sheets and JavaScript has eradicated the need for XHTML. While XHTML is still being supported by browsers, its similarity to the latest iteration of HTML makes it redundant. DHTML, which stands for Dynamic Hypertext Markup Language, is an extension of HTML that allows web pages to react to a user's input and enables the inclusion of such things as animation and dynamic menus. DHTML 
uses a combination of HTML, cascading style sheets, and JavaScript, some of which we will cover in later chapters. While DHTML is an extension of HTML, it is not considered a language in itself as it encompasses several languages under the umbrella of the term dynamic. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.